Hello everyone, I'm Sign One News anchor Jethro Woodall. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. So let's take a look at what's happening in the news today. Health officials are concerned about the surge of the Delta variant as new cases of the coronavirus are rising in every state across the nation by at least 10 percent over the past week. And there is concern those numbers are going to increase as the U.S. heads toward the fall. The rise in COVID-19 infections and hospitalizations has caused some businesses and school districts to change their mask guidelines to mandatory whenever inside buildings. What do you think? It is pretty concerning. However, The United States is making some progress with COVID-19 vaccinations. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, as of Saturday, more than 346 million shots have been administered in the United States. And Saturday was also the fifth consecutive day of at least 700,000 shots delivered, pushing the number of Americans fully vaccinated to 49.6%. Simone Biles isn't completely out of the Olympics yet. USA Gymnastics tweeted confirmation that she will compete in Tuesday's balance beam final. That marks her last chance to secure a medal at the games. And it's the first event she will participate in since her run on the vault as part of the women's team final last Tuesday. I'm curious to see what happens with Simone Biles tomorrow. The video conferencing service Zoom became essential during the pandemic. But it was plagued by hackers who Zoom bombed by popping up in private meetings, shouting profanity, or sharing pornography. Customers complained and filed an $85 million lawsuit. Zoom has agreed to pay. In addition to paying eligible subscribers a 15% refund on their Zoom subscriptions or $25, whichever is larger. Congratulations to award-winning deaf actress Michelle Mary Schaefer. The Home Summer Repertory Theater in Holland, Michigan, just cast her in the lead role, Sarah Norman, in the critically acclaimed stage play Children of a Lesser God. The play is running now until Thursday, August 5th. So if you're in the area and want to support this talented actress and this powerful play, here is the website for the theater and the number 
to the ticket office. Again, congratulations, Michelle. In the theaters, Jungle Cruise, starring actors Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Emily Blunt, steamed its way to win the weekend box office, generating more than $34 million in ticket sales and another $30 million on the Disney Plus streaming service. Disney is hoping it will become another theme park ride franchise. Similar to the ride Pirates of the Caribbean. Wait, did I spell that right? Pirates of the Caribbean. There it is. I just experienced the most amazing tour. It's called the Friends Experience, the one in Atlanta. And I literally got to relive the most iconic sitcom in American television history. It was awesome. I got to walk through the tour and I was like, yes, oh my goodness, yes. I honestly cannot explain it in words. I mean, you really have to see it yourself. I mean, that's all I can say. I don't wanna say too much to give it away. So stay tuned. Signwin News is going to show you every moment of this incredible tour later this week. So listen, if you're a fan of the Friends sitcom, you do not want to miss it. So that's all for today. Signwin News will be broadcasting live updates Monday through Friday. Then this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, join us for a live panel of diverse guests to discuss the hot topics of the week. Again, be sure to post your thoughts and comments at any time during any of the live shows. We might even share your comment. And to all of our Sign One News app subscribers, a big thank you. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. You can also watch on Apple TV, Apple Watch, Amazon, and Roku. Have a wonderful day.